So here we are. It's January, I don't know, 10th, something like that. 15th. Well, see, yeah, 15th, great. Um, I don't do much in the winter time. It's like all downtime. I don't even know what day it is. Um, anyways, Ian and I, we uh, just did a podcast this morning. Our first podcast was pretty cool. Um, we're going to do this end of the year wrap up video. Um, I'm going to try to do it with a dog. Yeah. I did get sponsored <laughs> by my local coin dealer. This is a uh, carrot coin. He gave me a SLQ just to uh, give him a shout out. So there's their phone number. They're in North Olmstead, Ohio. Really good guys, man. They're not, you know, they don't try to rip your mouth out if you're looking to buy silver um or gold or if you have silver or gold to sell they're pretty good guys so shout out to them and here we go so yeah this year started off pretty good then for me personally i had a rough i don't know a couple of months and then uh i started off getting back on the uh the fines again so i did find my white whale bucket lister of all time i did find my two cent piece and the funny thing is it was uh mixed in with my clad i thought it was a quarter and uh i was at work and i went to go put it in the uh vending machine it kept spitting it out and i'm like why is it spitting this quarter out and then i start rubbing on it <laughs> and i'm like you got to be shitting me so here's my two cent piece i spent about a week cleaning that thing to get it all nice and cleaned up but that is my white whale bucket lister. So, you know, this year started, like I said, started off rough or started off okay. Then I hit a, a drought. And I'm talking a drought where I wasn't finding shit. Yeah. But it was still a good year. I mean, uh, I ended up with, I can't remember how many silvers, 57 silvers I think I ended up with. And uh, I got a couple of really good finds. Uh, learned a lot of lessons this year, I would say that. Um, uh, dig those iffy tones, guys. I mean, shit, this right here was an iffy tone for me. And it turned out to be 105 grams. It's in our... Sterling silver. Yeah. Um, and, and my, my question, how mad would you be if... Um, you came to find out from the audience that this was a two cent that I found and threw in your change on your back patio. I would probably kick your ass, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> did I do it? I don't know. I'm going to make Ian Myers wonder about that. I did that. call him. I did call him and made sure he wasn't messing with me because he knew how bad I wanted to find one of them. But uh, no, for real, I did learn some lessons this year. Um, dig those iffy tones, guys. Um... Yeah, that, never give up on it. Never give up on it because you just never know what you're gonna be digging up. Come here, Bruno. You know, for those of you that that if you didn't see, um, so this is actually what this thing looked like coming out of the ground, and this thing has been tested and tested and tested. Um, we could not find any marks on it, but you you see the circle here. So this would have been. <clears throat> like a weighted candy dish it would have stood tall probably like this might have even been a short one um so ian actually stumbled across this signal and then asked me to swing over top of it um and i was getting a good signal and it was deep and kind of tree rooty territory so we used my massive shovel to dig it up and then um He's like, oh, yeah, this is cool, the target. And then when I saw the round base, I said, well, I'm going to recheck your hole, um, which is what I did. And then um, I was getting another signal down there, and I didn't know what it was. And it was about a good three or four inches deeper, and I popped out this seeded dime, um, which Ian gave to me um, since I located it. And... Yeah, I, I don't even think we could have picked the dime up. Oh, 
hell no. If, if it was j if it wasn't if it wasn't for this, we'd have never found the dime as deep as it was. Um, I know my machine couldn't have picked it up because no. that was a good 15, 16, 17 inches deep. Yeah, if, if not more. I mean, yeah. the, the bowl itself was 19, and that was probably two, three inches deeper than the bowl. Yeah, so. But, uh, yeah, kind of, kind of a rough year, you know. I mean, considering, you know, the year before when we were, you know, we were really in Doylestown, and it was, Doylestown was kind of unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, it was like, Man, get into a yard and you land a permission, and we're coming back every other week to film there. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, this year not so much. We we went like a month before we put out a video, a couple times this year. And you know, uh, Billy, who usually hunts with us, he had a bunch of health issues this year, and so hopefully in twenty twenty two he'll get out with us a little more. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. I'm gonna go over some of my highlights, and then. Uh, let Ian go over some of his. So, um, here's what it is. I know I got on four largies this year. Um, I think my coolest one uh, is the four hold one that was turned into a wizard, we believe, kid's toy. I got a two cent piece, you know, it's old hat for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got a pile of Indians here. I was. Uh, Going through my stuff to bring down here today, I did come across uh, a 1909, and it is a VDB, um, which I didn't know that. I, I never look for key dates with my wheats. I just, whatever. Um, so, yeah, I got that. There's a couple nickels. Got a V nickel and a buffalo nickel. I, I found more than that. I just grabbed a few of them. I did get on some pretty cool tokens. Um, some of them are kind of hard to see. This is a 1939 New York World's Fair token. Maybe you can see some of that in there. Um, I got on this pretty cool Firestone token. Try to catch it in the light. This is some sort of aviation token. Um, got an airplane on it couple of fellas on the other side it's really toasty hard to get clean um i got a lucky Lindbergh coin charles Lindbergh. um this is a old style presidential token i got on a multitude of crotals this is a larger crotal bell this is the fanciest crotal that um i've ever found um, I wish it would have had the top to it, but it doesn't. Um, I got some other things. Let's see. What do I got here? This is a Farm Bureau tag. That's pretty cool. Um, 1929. You guys can check out the date on there. Um, I did get... I think, think it was our last hunt. Mm -hmm. Our last hunt of the year. I did end up getting... Um, three... Uh, well... A, pistol shot is what we're calling them um we put them on the calipers and they're 45 caliber um i didn't get a whole lot in buttons this year i did get two of the sportsman's buttons i got a camel and then i got the uh either the elk or the white tail i got a really nice general service button and just a two-piece with the design. You got a decent little flat button there. No design on it. Um, I came across this. It's got an eagle on it. And we've not been able to identify it. The, the hole at the top is really weird. Uniform, obviously, was there purposely. Let's see what else I got cool. I think that change purse is badass. Yeah, I did get the uh, 1948 chauffeur's badge. Um, I got this uh, railroad badge, which I found here. This is Akron, Ohio, but I found it here in Cuyahoga Falls. Um, I, I We weren't filming a hunt. I actually found this change purse. Um, and I was just hunting solo by myself one day. 
and uh, no no coins in it. Wish there were. Uh, what else? Uh, only one of these locks. I so I found this hinge top lock this year. Um, Bart, oh, these here. are some from previous years. Um, I did find this pretty cool bell. Um, it did, does have some writing on it. It's kind of toasty. It's actually made of brass, but it says Merry Christmas in like seven different languages all the way around it. So that was pretty cool. And then I don't have anything really separated out, but this is, some of you guys have already seen this. This is all the precious metal I have either found um, like the Morgan and the Peace and the Colombian Half Dollar. I've won those. Metal detecting, they were, you know, money bets or whatever. Of course, the SLQ came from Carrot Coin sponsorship. There you go, guys. Um, all the rest of this, this is like 30 some ounces in silver bullion. That's all my clad from the year over the years. Um, just a bunch of miscellaneous silver coins. All ground dug. Um, 100 and Ian counted them. 166, and that's my lifetime total with them. I got four, three silver spoons, a fork, and a silver handle, and then just a pile of rings. And there's some gold and stuff. But um, that's kind of my end of the year wrap up. I know you guys are getting tired of hearing the fat hillbilly drone on, so I'm gonna give Ian the camera and let him hit hit some highlights. Well, something we always us usually do is I like picking out my favorite find of Jason's. And uh, without question, well... Well, I already gave you one of my two-cent pieces. It's between the change purse that I was not there for or this pocket watch oh that God. I was there for. This, I, that was cool. Kids, cover your ears. I shit a brick. When I popped up that watch, yeah, because I mean, how you see it is pretty much how it came out of the ground. Yeah, and it's dark in my house right now, but I mean, it. He was freaking out, and then I'm like, "Eh, we'll see." And then I saw it, and I start freaking out, and it, it was crazy, man. So I have to say that's my favorite relic find for you of the year. Coin, you find a lot of good coins, dude. Um, but I I did find some pretty cool coin. Oh. I, you know something I forgot to mention? This. The, the river, river find. The river find. This was like a metal, um, what was it, like Prussian or? I think it was German, dude. German? Yeah. Um, 1870 to 1871, it was actually a like a war metal. And he found this in the river. Um, that is my river find, or my favorite river find of Jason's. Uh, all time that's the best river find we've ever found and he found that and that's i don't think it's gonna get any better for, for a long time uh coins dude you found a lot of good coins this year a lot of a lot of standing liberties and yeah i i know i had something like um six <clears throat> six slqs this year yeah i mean he got every every time oh huh? slq slq i'm like damn dude yeah I, I think i had six this year um, I, I found 47 silver coins this year um, was my final number on the year, which was got 20 coins less than I found last year. Yeah, it's like I said, though, guys, we had a we had a tough year. I mean, but we we kept digging away. Literally, we made a year of it. So, yeah, that's that's my favorite relic. That's my favorite river find, and then one of the SLQs in there. I mean, all of them. He found a lot this year. Um, for me, I had uh, not too bad of a year. Um, I ended the year with 57 silvers. That's just a couple of uh, walkers and Franklin's, you know, half dollars I found. Um I have to say this has probably been the best year for me horse tack wise. I found a lot of good horse tack. Um, That's awesome. This bridal rosette with a horse. Then I got another bridal rosette. I got a couple of rain guides. This is a, some sort of harness. Yeah, that's a weird buckle. And then a, part of a stirrup. No, that was the, was that the, oh, was that the stirrup? Yeah. Oh. I found that in a field. 
Oh, I was I was thinking <coughs> just the gun. Yeah, that's gun a piece. Yeah, that's an old uh, gun piece, but uh, you know, I didn't find a lot, but what I did find I think was pretty good. I found three walking canes uh, tops. Oh, let's see here. This is probably one of my favorites. This is like a week after Jason found this. I mean, I think it was the very next week I turn around and find that. So it was like two heart stoppers in a row yeah, because that's plated. Yeah, this one's it filled. There's yeah. my dog. Make sure Jason ain't going to steal it. Good boy. <laughs> um, I found two cannonballs. I found a bad, bad year for rings for me. I found only two silver rings this year. It was a, not a good year for rings. I did find another love token. This one says Cynthia on it. I'm trying to see if you can see that. There we go. It says Cynthia on it. And the back is a, it is a seated quarter. Um, other than that, there's some river finds. Non-metal detecting finds. Found this just sitting in the field. But yeah, guys, I mean... Each year gets harder and harder, it seems like, and this year was a tough year. Very tough year. Um, lessons I've learned is, you know, dig it all, guys, for real. Just nothing's ever hunted out either. A lot of 95% of the places we hunted this year, we had the people said, oh, it's been hunted before. And yeah, they get the, uh, the majority of the silver it's up to you to clean up after them but you know we've we found some good stuff this year yeah jay what's your favorite find of mine uh hands down a love token that's a major bucket list for me uh and this lucky sobs found two of them already um but i also i dude i really love the champion lock yeah that lock is um, cool the patina on it's cool you, you, everything about it's cool you got, you, Ian found some really quality relics. I gave a lot of relics away this year. And, and he did. He, he gave a lot to homeowners this year. Um, but, I mean, dude, it's so hard to pick between the lock and the bridal rosette. And then you got the, you know, the, the love tokens. And then, I mean, just, you know, the sash buckles and, you know, the... What it, uh, uh, that's some sort of ladies legion token yeah. oh yeah um the woman's relief cross yeah, there you go 1883 i mean it's just and and then you, you know freaking cannonballs and yeah you know me and jay you know I tell you, man, we, we, I think this year we worked together a lot, you know, yeah. helping each other out, oh, hey. you know, like uh, hey, I would man. ask him to swing over a target because, you know, I want to make sure, you know, I'm not just, I got the Baltimore, Ohio bag seat. That is cool. You know, um, pretty cool, but you know, surprisingly this year, um, and that's something else, you know, you're not going to find the same stuff year in and year out. Yeah, you're probably going to find, you know, Mercury Dimes or stuff like that if that's what you're into. But, like, you know, we had a goal to really, you know, try to amp up some of our Civil War stuff that we found. And nothing. Well, not nothing. We, two cannonballs well, and three. Like, shot. You know, I mean, that's five for an area that's not really Civil War. Rich. Yeah, well, I'm thinking like buttons and buckles and stuff like that. And, you know, that really didn't come out of the ground a whole lot. Tokens. We we really didn't find a lot token-wise this year. Um, yeah, but, I mean, there's always next year. And, uh, yep. you know, this year was a tough year. So, hopefully, next year won't be as tough. <laughs> it's going it's to be different. Yeah. It's going to be different. And, uh we got some things in the works right now. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, might be doing a golf course built in 1920. And and, and hey, for all, all you guys that are in these super cold weather states, if you're, you know, trying to figure out how to do something, 
Look, when it's cold and frozen, now's the time. Do your research. Try to start lining up permissions for when the weather is good. You know? Yeah. Or you just have to go on out and metal detect like we're going to do after I shut the camera off. Go in the woods because those leaves insulate the ground a little bit. won't be as frozen. Um, other than that, guys, I mean, that's that's real quick wrap-up for the year. Uh, we've worked a lot with the, the Historic Society. They've been nothing but great to us, leading us in, you know, the right direction and giving us permissions and lining stuff up and it's just nice for them to have our back and we'd like to give a shout out to them uh Cuyahoga Falls Historic Society located 2083 Cook Street in Cuyahoga Falls if you guys want to go check them out I recommend it um Jay with the carrot coin or the guy uh go check those guys out they got good prices um other than that guys uh I'm out of stuff to say. Jay, anything you want to add? Uh, no, man. Looking forward to maybe if it's a little drier next year, we might get in the river a little more. Um, you know, just hopefully we can branch out a little bit. And, you know, we might even possibly, possibly even cross state lines in 2022. I like it. So. I like it. And we might even start having some merch for sale, too. So, something we got to think about. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, you'll see us again. Have a good one. Bruno, you want to say anything? <laughs> see you, guys.